boy Jason Yamamoto. Just got out the gym right now and I'm heading home. Yeah, I know I should have made a video on the way, but whatever. Yes, I'm driving while I'm recording the shit. But anyways, um, yeah, so last week I did 205 pounds, my recovery PR on my deadlift for one rep. And you know, uh, it's kind of depressing because my, my max was 315 and now I'm trying to fight to uh, get that number back up, right? right? Anyways, with that being said, today, I don't know if you guys care or not, but I did 235 pounds for one rep. Believe that. So, over the week, yeah, I guess you said I gained 30 pounds of strength, but who knows? Maybe I retained all that strength and I'm just over, I wouldn't say over, just underrating myself, you know what I'm saying? Underestimating myself. And just because of the lower back injury, I just kind of feel like I got to take it slow. But anyways, I think I took it a little bit too fast today. I don't I don't feel any like pain or anything. Matter of fact, I don't know, you guys be the judge on uh, on my form, take my form, whatever, on my deadlift. So just guys, just go ahead and just check that out, all right? Anyways, man, I got to get off of this before I get arrested and shit. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next clip. everybody? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. Just got back from the gym. About to get my post-workout meal going on. But before I do all that, I want to talk to you guys about my deadlift today. Yeah, I know it's kind of repetitive. But anyways, just last week I did 205. And this week I did 235. And that was about a 30-pound increase. Now, you guys, some of you guys may say that's a lot in one week. But my old PR was 315. So you could say that my strength did retain from the previous time before you know before I got injured so with that being said I'm just gonna slowly but surely move the weight up alright so next week I'm gonna probably try to aim for 240 you know being too overconfident can get you also hurt so you gotta know when you gotta step back and slow down but at the same time I wanna get back up to 315 alright so anyways with that being said you know, as you're watching the clips, as you may notice, I'm doing a lot of reset reps, okay? There's no real rules out there telling you how to train. Yeah, there are, like, elite power lifters, there are elite Olympic lifters, elite bodybuilders. A lot of people will say, do this, do that, do this, do that, right? But some of them will contradict with each other, you know, because just because his style doesn't match his style, this other guy's style, they're not going to listen to each other, but they're both elite, right? So what I was saying was, um, when you're lifting, right, there's no rules to doing it as long as you make it count, make each rep count, right? So as you may notice as I'm like lifting, right, you may notice that I'm resetting a lot of reps. Like let's say I'll lift it and then I'll put it back down, reset my position again right and then I'll lift it again and then put it back and then resetting my position and try it again now a lot of people say oh well that's not how you make gains or that's not how you build muscle well building muscle is a little tricky right it's, it's a lot of things that you gotta combine it's just not just the training it's, you know it's the mixture of sleep and nutrition and the calories in versus calories out kind of thing but when it comes to strength Right, when it comes to strength, there's no rules saying that you can't reset. All right, and twice it feels more natural when you reset for that certain particular lift, it feels more natural. And I believe just me, okay, when you, when you reset your reps, uh, you, can, you can gather a lot of strength and make that rep count. Right, the whole point of lifting is making all the reps count. I hate people that makes all their reps look sloppy as fuck, right? It's just, just plain sloppy, just all over the place. And it doesn't even look like they're even making a rep. Especially the guys who love to do the front, um, what is it? Front delt raises, right? They'll go like this, right? But their form's all jacked up. You, you see guys that they doesn't even go all the way up. Like they'll go like, like that, right? Just need to be all the way up. It is what it is. But anyways, man, that's all I wanted to say. If you if you feel like your reps aren't feeling natural, go ahead and try resetting them. 
That's if you feel like your reps are natural, okay? Anyways, let me get to this post-workout meal. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, post-workout meal right here. Um, it's kimchi, noodle soup. The yellow stuff you see is eggs. And of course, this is meat, pork meat right there. Yeah. Looks yummy. Because <laughs> it is yummy. Yeah, this is a uh, cabbage. Okay, cabbage. Yeah, so it's actually kimchi cabbage. Um, the, 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 the flavor of the soup is kimchi, of course. And ramen. And then meat, eggs. Yeah, uh, put two things of eggs in there if you guys want to know. And then about like three slices of uh, pork sausage. It's like Asian pork sausage. You can find it in, in every like Asian store. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy to find. That's if you go to an Asian store. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm about to get this in real quick. I'll talk to you guys later. Nine, nine, three.